Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to change the IP address using the Dahua web login software on the newer NVRs. Now, just to give you an idea, this happens to be the 4116HS 4KS2 with the uh, system version of 3.215 and the build date is August of 2017. So that gives you an idea. All right, so as you can see, I have a uh, registration tab here, which lists all the cameras. If you're not seeing your cameras, you can do a device search and you should get all your cameras. Now, what you will notice is that the cameras which are already playing on my NVR are in the IP address 10.0.0. So you can see here are the four, what are five cameras, which are 10.0.0, 10.0.0, 10.0. Okay, so they're all on the 10.0.0 range. If I add a camera here, which is the one I want to add, and as you can see, this happens to be a new 6 megapixel camera. Here I can see the type, IPC HDW 4631C. Say I want to add it, right? So I click the Add button, and there you can see it's been added to my list of cameras which are now streaming in the NVR. And look what has happened here. The status shows offline. Now you might say refresh it. Well, I'll keep on refreshing it and nothing will happen. This camera will never show itself on this NVR because it is in a different IP address range. You can see this camera is 101067 while the rest are on the 1000 range. So how do you solve this problem? Well, the new NVR software allows you to do this uh, in a two-step process without having to use the smart config standalone software. For example, I'm just showing you an older NVR software. This happens to be an older NVR software. When you, uh, it, it didn't give you the option to modify the IP address. I know that it does say here modify once you've added it and it says uh, IP address, but I have not been able to, to get that to modify the IP address. So this is the old software and it didn't work. So what I ended up doing is using the smart config tool, which is a standalone software. And I have a video showing how to change the IP addresses of uh, cameras on your network. Now, getting back to this video. This is the newer NVR firmware and as you can see it's got more features and I do have a video showing the difference between these two firmwares but let's get back to the video. The video, the point of this video is to show you how to solve this IP address problem. Okay, the first thing you want to do is remove this camera. The camera will be found on the list here, in the list, now there it is, the 10 yeah, sorry, 101067. Now that is the camera which I want to add to my group. Now, I need to firstly change this camera's IP address to be on the 10.0.0 range. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say modify IP address. Now, you'll need to know the password. It is admin admin or um, I think it's 6 eights and 6 eights. So it's one of those. So either you're going to have a password which is, um, I think it's 6, 6 eights. Yeah. So it will be, you either put admin and admin, and if that doesn't work, you'll do 68s followed by 68s. Now, the new IP address I want is 100067, and then you'll also have to change your gateway. You can't have the uh, gateway on a different network. So the gateway has to be in the same range. All right, so there we go. If, if you're not following this stuff on IP addresses, you're welcome to see my networking tutorials on uh, introduction to networking. All right, so there we go, and I say OK. Now, once I've done that, give the uh, camera a chance to reboot itself, and then we can do another search. And then, voila, you can see there is the same camera. There you go, uh, HDW 4631C. And there you can see the new IP address of 100067. Now, if I add that, you shall see that the camera, okay, the camera actually added itself because it was in the list. But there you can see the camera is added, 10.0.0.67. There is the model number, the 4631C, and you can see it is online. So that's how you change the IP address using the NVR software and not a standalone software. Now, you might be wondering, why does this happen? Okay. On some networks, you might find that you have separated the NVRs uh, in different IP address ranges. If you look at the list here, I have 10, 0, 0, 10, 0, 0, 10, 0, then I've got a 10, 1, 10, 1, and then maybe you might find some more 10, 1s. 
And the reason for that is there's yeah the reason for that is because I want to have some cameras on a, a certain NVR, and I don't want the other NVR. Uh, that user to be able to access those cameras. For example, here is another NVR, and you can see that these uh, IP addresses are 10.1, 10.1, 10.1. There they are, 10.1, 10.1, 10.1, 10.1. 10.1. So the point is, is that sometimes when you've got several NVRs on one network, you don't want um, you don't want the cameras to interfere with each other, and maybe you run out of address space. Maybe you've got tens of cameras on your uh, on your network and therefore you might have this NVR is 10.1.0.1.1.5 and the next NVR has cameras starting on 10.2 whatever whatever so that's just how you you might find that you got into this problem in the first place all right so to sum up if you want to change the IP address it's not a problem all you do is you say the modify IP address this happens to be another camera this happens to be 101069 you say modify you put in the username and password you change the IP address that you want it to be make sure you change the gateway and then you say okay and then the camera will come online and that is how you change the IP addresses using the NVR software I hope this was helpful thanks for watching